YouTube, what's going on? I'm back with my latest video. Just want to show you guys some of my latest comic book pickups. So these comic book pickups are from the last week, from New Comic Book Day, and also from the back issue bin. So got some pretty cool things, and I also got a Grail that I got from CGC. Uh, I bought this one online a few months ago, actually, but it's been sitting around here because I've been trying to do this segment for you guys once a week for comic books. So I have a huge stack of things that I want to show you guys. I'm going to try to show you guys at least one huge pickup every week for a while. So I'm going to show you guys that. And so let's get right into it and see what I got today. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome and hit subscribe button down below as well. So you're updated to my most recent content and hit that bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, I'm going to try to do these comic book uh, videos more often, maybe at least once a week, since I am going at least once a week to the comic book shop and picking some things up. So I know those who are into it are into it and want to see it. So I'm going to continue to give you guys that content. So let me show you guys what I got for this week. Uh, new comic book day stuff. So first up, I got Seven Seekers number eight, so I believe. Yeah, number eight. Um, this is one of the ones I'm reading. If you're interested in reading a cool book, definitely check this out. Um, I enjoy it. My girlfriend reads it as well. Um, it's one of our favorite ones and a very good storyline. I haven't read this one yet. I've read all of the other seven, so probably read this one later today. Um, let you guys know how it is, but I um, strongly recommend the series. And all in all, it's a really dope one. Um, I could definitely see them turning this into a TV show. Um, you can still get number one in the stores. Um, it's not too, too hard to find, at least by me. Um, so if you're looking to start from the beginning, definitely have some time to do so. Pick this one up and uh, give it a read. But picked up number eight. Up next, I got the Joker number three, cover A. I uh, just think it's a dope design. Uh, very, very cool uh, cover. And it's kind of weird. I just saw that there's a black lightning back on there. I didn't know. I thought the show got canceled. Maybe it didn't. I like that show. That show was pretty good. But anyways, we have joke number three. This is the second uh, full appearance and first in costume for Vengeance, who is Bane's daughter. So I picked this up since I got the Joker number two, where she was, uh, you know, first featured. So pick this one up. Pretty cool book. There is a uh, variant for that one with the uh, her in costume with the black and white um, cover. I didn't get that one. I don't know if the, my shop even had it. Um, but that one's pretty cool to me. That's good. That's good enough. So up next I got cancel number two and the city of giants um, ha Didn't read number one yet it's sitting on my to read list. I think it's next up So I'll let you guys know how that is um, But this one's Canto in, in general is a good story. Um, shout out to everyone who um, Commented on my video last week. Let me know that Will Smith is picking up uh, this property for uh, pros possible production. I thought that's who it was, but didn't want to say it. And then you guys kill me in the comments, but I knew it was a big Hollywood actor. So I knew it was him, but just wanted to be uh, clear, wanted to clarify through you guys first, but pretty cool book, pretty cool story. Um, and definitely a, a suggestion or a suggested book. I would have you guys, if you want to check it out, that one's pretty readily available. Um, there's a, a couple different stories for Canto and they're all pretty good so far to me. Um, up next, this is G.I. Joe number 281. Um, this is the first appearance and origin of Sherlock, uh, who's a new G.I. Joe. So I picked this up anytime it's like a new character like that. Um, I always try to at least snag a copy. This was the last copy on the shelves at my comic book shop. So got lucky. Um, I was there pretty early. So this must have been a hot book for the week. Um, so pretty cool book and uh, happy I got one in the collection. Um, you guys saw I got that G.I. Joe number one pretty recently in the collection uh, back from CGC. So having some G.I. Joe stuff in the collection is never a bad thing. Up next we have Wind number six. Um, so this is a book that recently this week um, was talked about as being um, possibly in production. Um, it's a good book. I've read first the first three. Um, I do believe I have four and five laying around here somewhere. So I picked up six uh, to continue the story. So I'm kind of up to date with... Uh, What's going on? It's a little bit more geared towards, I wouldn't say it's geared towards children, but definitely children can watch or read it and not be um, not be bad. So definitely something if you're interested in picking up, um, I definitely suggest it. It's a good story. I still think you might be able to find the number one out there, um, but after this week, a lot of people are probably speculating on it now. So if you want it, I definitely would go ahead and uh, track it down pretty soon if you are looking for it. So up next, this is a stack of stuff I got from another comic book shop I go to. and. Uh, 
I had to pick them all up because they're all fire covers. I'm thinking about actually sending some of these to get graded just because I think they're so cool and have to get them capsulated. So we have a first Simpsons comics number two. This has got the bar and the sideshow Bob Shadow right there, Bob's back. So I do have number one coming in. I had to order that after getting all of these. And I do have Simpsons comics and stories, two copies of them at CGC right now. So um, Simpsons, I grew up watching, loving, and uh, I'm surprised that these books are not more expensive than they are. They probably were mass produced, everything in the 90s was. Um, this is up next, is issue number four. I actually already had a copy of this, but my cover was torn off of mine, which is uh, pretty crazy. Um, that I was able to track down a good copy of this one. Uh, the other one I got like for a quarter or whatever, just to read it. And uh, it's pretty, it's a pretty good book, and uh, definitely has some relevant topics in there about trading cards and stuff. So check this book out; you can find it. Pretty cool. I have a Simpsons comics number four, dope cover too. Uh, up next we have number five. You got the Bartman cover right there. The rest of the Simpson characters, pretty cool cover. Uh, up next is number six. So you got Otto and Lisa. Otto playing the guitar. Lisa playing her trademark saxophone. Uh, number seven is looks like the circus one right there. And number, I think it's, oh, nine. Simpsons and Comics number, or Simpsons and Comics number nine. So I think this went up to like 200 issues or something like that. Drop down if you know. Um, but it went pretty long, uh, more than I thought it was going to. Uh, up next, we have Krusty the Clown. I don't know if it's, it's not Krusty the Clown number one or anything, but it's like a, you know, uh, offshoot of the Simpsons uh, comics. Pretty cool book. Uh, we have Edna, Queen of the Congo. Pretty cool book right there with Mrs. Kerbapel. Uh, up next we have Homer on the Range, another cool book. And last but not least, uh, my boy Apu from the Quickie Mart. This is probably I probably send this one to get graded because I don't think they're not gonna do any more Apu stuff. So um, pretty cool one. It might be like a collectible someday. So uh, pretty cool one to have. This is from 1995. So pretty cool book. Apu number one. All right, guys. So like I said, I do have the comic book that I got from CGC. It's been sitting around. Like I said, I have a pile. Uh, stuff I'm going to try to feature at least one a week for a while until the pile is uh, been depleted or it gets refilled with other things. Um, so this book is one I got a while back and uh, I'm pretty glad that I got it when I did. I got it for like Wishes Wednesday because I was going to start featuring them on there. A lot of people weren't feeling the comic books so I kind of you know sat them for a while and uh, decided to just do a different segment once a week for you guys. So um, this book I got, uh, I don't even know how much I paid for it. $200, $300, nothing crazy. And I think this book is well over $1,000 now. So made out pretty well. Um, I got it because honestly, I like the character, but I also played with this character a lot in Marvel vs. Capcom. So uh, I was trying to get at one point all the characters I used to play with on there and uh, track this down and got it in high grade and uh, happy I did. We have Dormammu's first appearance. So Strange Tales 126 and it's 7.0. So this book, pretty old, 1964. So in 7.0 is pretty good shape. It doesn't present as a 7.0, it presents much better, um, but if you can see, there's a number 6 right there, so that's probably why I got docked so much, is there's writing on the cover. Outside of that, that book, this book is almost in pristine condition. That number 6 doesn't bother me too much, that's probably like a factory thing or from a comic book shop, so I think that makes it look cool, honestly. Um, the reason why this book's starting to go up is there's a lot of speculation on the first appearance of Clea, who was also in this. She is the wife of Doctor Strange, so there's rumors that she's going to be appearing in the new about the strange movie so a lot of people speculate on that this book starting to go up and being the first appearance of Dormammu as well making this book even skyrocket anymore even more so um, very cool book um, you got the Dormammu appearance right down there um, it's always good when the uh, first appearance there's the cover on the cover um, even though it's in this one this case so small it's not the best cover um, you're not, not memorable at all. There's a lot of strange tales like this that look pretty much the same, um, but at least it's got Dormammu on there, so I'm always happy seeing that in a book. But very, very cool book. Um, like I said, I think this book's going over, for over a thousand bucks now in this condition. Last time I checked, I thought, I thought that's what I saw. Like I said, I'm not too up to date on prices on this. I don't remember what I paid. I know it's just gone up since then. So uh, very cool book. Really happy to have this in the collection. It's not going anywhere. It's a uh, one I really enjoy to have. I was hoping to track down uh, the first appearance of Doctor Strange as well. It was on my radar and the, the, like a, a month after I was gonna pull the trigger on it, it started skyrocketing value. So that one's out of price range. So to get another character from that world, uh, first appearance of that is pretty dope. So that is what I have for you guys today. 
Um, pretty cool books to me. Let me know what you guys thought about them and your favorite in the comment section below. Like I said, definitely check out your local comic book shop if you uh, have not already. See if you can find some of those books. I definitely highly suggest Seven Secrets. It's a very, very good book. Um, another one I really highly suggest is Stillwater. If you can find that one um, in your local shop, it's pretty good as well. You can still find number one. It's not as easy to find as Seven Secrets is, um, but it's a really good book. So there you guys go. Let me know your thoughts. Drop down your favorite in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys are reading. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at the Pop Savage. Until next time, I'll see you later.